Heads up, food. This is Nia Ya with the Raseki Arts Temple. And I am here today with this video that I want to dedicate to the young mothers and to the babies. And those who know me know that I love the babies. <laughs> I love babies. So I just want to share this video, which is just some information for young mothers, some of the things that the elders told me when I was younger and I had my children, and it was some valuable information, so I just want to pass it along. All right. <laughs> so first of all, I would just want to say to the young mothers to cherish your baby. The time that they come out is like, or uh, when they are newborns, I should say, is like the most precious time of that child's life. They are in their most pure form. They are like the little sponges and they will absorb everything around them, everything that they see, taste, touch, feel, and hear. So just keep that in mind and do your best to make sure that you have a safe, loving environment for your baby because that is what each child deserves and that is their birthright to be loved and cherished and adored and um you know cover your baby's head when you have that newborn um the old mamas used to tell us that cover the baby's head you know they have that soft spot at the top of their head and that is um a place of spiritual connection so when it's left open it kind of like leaves your baby open and you know i remember when my children were younger i guarded my children i remember seeing a video of um some animals and they guard their children they have to protect them so that they are not eating and they protect them from each other sometimes from the um, oldest older ones being too rough with the younger ones so things like that are very important because that baby is just you know so innocent you want to keep the baby innocent as long as possible. Um, the mothers used to also tell us to keep the baby in the house. You as a new mother and the child should stay in the house for like at least a few months after you give birth just to give yourself a time to heal and to give that baby a time to get acclimated to being on the outside because that is a whole new world for the baby. So, um, I'm just putting that out there in love. Watch your environment and um, keep, you know, protect that baby because they deserve it. Also, I want to encourage the young mothers to breastfeed your child as long as possible. You have a lot of nutrients. If you're eating healthy, then you will have a lot of nutrients to give to the baby, which are very important and much better than any thing that you could buy from the store. The Creator gives us milk for the children and we should share it with the children because it's meant for them first and foremost and it's good for them as well. Your, your breast milk can help develop um, an immune system in the baby that is much stronger than the cow milk will ever help them develop. So just also keep that in mind. Breastfeeding is very important. It's a good way to bond with your child. You want to, if you are breastfeeding or if you're just starting, make sure that you're giving the baby enough milk so that the baby can grow healthy. That is very important. And you yourself, if you're breastfeeding, have to eat healthy, eat vegetables, eat fruit. You cannot get good milk if you're just eating pizza and burgers and french fries and stuff like that it won't make or produce good milk so um, um there are plenty of advisors that you can talk to about that if not you could contact me online i'll be more than happy to share more with you about the breastfeeding um and then when the baby is ready to eat which should be um more towards the eight nine months to a year time frame some some choose to feed the babies early some cereal and stuff like that simple things you don't want to rush feeding the baby a whole lot of different things at a time because their digestive systems are still very new and you want to take your time so the mamas used to tell us to give them one food at a time so every week you would introduce a new food 
and this is something that you are making yourself you can make or start off with that rice cereal if you like um, also the potato the sweet potato is good um, other vegetables that you can mash up carrots um, you know spinach is good avocado banana simple very alkaline pure foods is what the baby should have to start off eating <laughs> don't just give them rice and everything that you're eating when they are starting because it's going to um, be overwhelming for their systems and it may make them more cranky it can give them gas diarrhea and all that kind of stuff so just keep that in mind also um i wanted to encourage you all to read to your baby read to the babies from the time they are little little babies up until they could read themselves i used to read to my children every night i mean <laughs> what else did we have to do that i didn't sit them in front of the tv all the time i tried to keep them active doing other things and i definitely would take that time before they went to bed after the bath to read to them so that they can learn to appreciate and value reading and they can learn from reading as well so that is something else um also i know a lot of young mothers have a hard time putting the baby to sleep and you know back in the days we would have that rocking chair and we would sing just sing a lullaby you know whatever be choicy <laughs> about what you're singing because you better believe they will remember those songs that you're singing my children come back and tell me oh, i don't remember this that song you know they don't forget it so don't just you know pick any random song sing something that has some value some quality you know stuff that means something is my suggestion um and lastly i always remember the mother saying if you want your children to be like you you have to keep them around you as much as possible so when they are young it is best to homeschool teach them yourself you can teach your children how to read if you know how to read yourself it's, it can be hard but it's not that hard uh, and that is just it's very important that we keep our children close to us as opposed to just handing them over to um, a school or preschool you know when they're young because that is the most precious time of their lives from um, birth to the age of seven they are developing their belief system they are developing their values and these are things that you can't easily change so be sure that you are showing them things that you want them to emulate and show radiate when they get older so that um, you won't look back and say, oh, you know, I created a mess here. Let me, you can prevent that if you <laughs> do some things when the children are young and make sure that you're teaching them values. Don't just sit them in front of the TV to teach them. You have to spend time with them. You have to show them affection, read to them, feed them good food so that their bodies and their immune system can be strong. Um, find if you're going to vaccinate, I do suggest that you read those pamphlets as the doctors to give you the brochure that has the ingredients for the vaccination so that you know what you're doing and um, know that you do have some options with that but that is a different conversation anyway i thank you all for listening you know i love you and i love the babies take care of those babies much love and blessings heads up